Good morning everyone. Today I welcome you all in the computer class. Today we are going to start with scratch programming. This subject this topic is recently introduced in CBSC as well as in ICIC board. So these are the three topics that we are going to learn today. Introduction section, then uh, starting scratch and then components of the scratch windows. Once you uh, once we will be familiar with what is scratch, who developed it, when it was it was developed and uh, what for it was developed when we will come to know this then we will open the scratch once the scratch is there in your computer how to open it and then before starting before working on the scratch we should be uh, well versed with the uh, components and what all features are available how to use them so components of the scratch will be explained interactively so watch this video till end Okay, let's start with the introduction section first. Students, you must be wondering that why I have shown you that video or the story. That's what we are going to learn. We are going to learn Scratch to make interactive games, to make interesting story stories. And this is how what we are going to develop. So let's learn what is Scratch. Scratch was designed by Michael Resnick in 2003. Its first version was out in the market in 2007 and Scratch second, Scratch 2 which was out in the 2013 and uh, Scratch recent, the current, uh, current version that is Scratch 3 which was released in uh, 2019 is uh, currently being used. Okay. Scratch was developed by lifelong kindergarten group at Massachusetts Institute of Technology Media Lab. So this lab is uh, situated in the United States of America. Okay, Scratch is used in more than 150 countries across the world. So and it is available in 40 different languages. So this is a quite popular software. Scratch is available free of cost. So we are not going to buy it. We will just freely download it. And I'll teach you in some video that how to download it. It is very simple to download. Okay. It is easy to understand and learn that you will just see that how it easy it is to learn and understand once you will finish with this video. Scratch is a visual programming. So whatever you will be working in this scratch, it is all visual. You are not going to write any command or code for this. So it's very easy. You will just pick up the blocks and you will make your programs. It enables the children to create their own games, animation stories and project. You have just seen a video like this. You can create any stories of your imagination. Okay, it is specially designed for children to enhance their computing skills. So it is for you that you can put your imagination into the program and then share it. So it is made so simple that anyone, anyone can create animation stories and games. So it is specially designed for the children. Instead of writing code or text, predefined blocks are snapped together to create the script. So script is what you read and write like I have to give a speech so I will be writing a script and then I learn it and then I will deliver it in the same way you will be writing a script and that script is in the form of block and which are predefined and pre-designed so you will just put them you will learn that what this particular block will be performing you will just learn uh, that uh, what is the functioning of this particular block then you will use it so it's very simple for you to use it you are not going to learn any syntax and uh, programming in uh, the programmings like other programs increase increases the students interest in programming by providing a graphical environment so students are always interested in uh, cartoons 
and uh, animation stories so it is uh, it will make you more interesting uh, it will provide you a very very interesting environment that you will enjoy working with okay and it empowers you to do playful experiment with program segments so you will enjoy when you will be putting the blocks together and you will see how your objects are working moving turning around jumping bouncing so you will when while doing the experiments you will in, you will be enjoying a lot okay students now i would like to tell you what is the motto of development of this scratch so motto is imagine program and share so like you are telling a story you made a story of your own like there is there was a elephant there was a mouse how they become friend so you just imagine the story now you will use the scratch for put your imagination into program and you will just make animation story using scratch so first is imagine then you put the imagination to into the program using this scratch and once your animated story or animation story is ready what you will do obviously you will you would like to share it with your friends and family so motto is imagine program and share so this is what we are going to do with the scratch now starting this scratch how you can start this scratch to start this scratch we will just press the windows button or start button we will go to all programs and write and in the all programs we will get to see the scratch just click on it and scratch interface will open or if you are having a windows 10 you just press windows button write scratch and click on this and scratch will open in front of you this is your scratch interface this is what we this is the interface where we will be working okay now we will quickly see what all these components are and how we are going to use it okay we are going to study this like this is one area this is the second area and this is the third area first second and third let's see what all scratch interface contains so this is your scratch interface let's quickly see what all it contains this this is your menu bar every software is having menus which provides us option to work with it these are the two flags let we will see what is the working of this these are the three tabs which we will be using this is the script area here we will be writing the script we will be writing the script for whom we will be writing the script for our object or sprite okay this is called sprite and this is the stage where the performance will be done what we do in, on the stage we perform on the stage in the same way our animate animation uh, will be performed on this stage we will give our project name here this is the presentation button we once we will done with our project we will click on this and we can play our animation story this is a sprite list okay and this is a block area we have c 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have 10 blocks and every block contains some options it gives some some options to work with okay now you have just got an idea we will uh, quickly learn about these uh, these options and then we then i'll show you interactively on the uh, on the scratch interface that how it works actually okay let's move ahead so scratch screen is divided into three pans first is straight st first is stage and sprite pan first is stage and sprite pan uh, above we see a stage and just below the stage we see the sprite pan then is block palette and then is script area so our entire window is divided into three pans then first is sprite sprite is the object that you see on the stage it performs various actions by default the cat sprite is selected but we can select many sprite 
like uh, scratch providers many many uh, sprites i'll show you like cat was selected there so it is the by default so like you saw in the beginning you saw a story and the story was revolving around elephant and the mouse so elephant and mouse these are the two sprites of the story okay next is stage on the stage stage is the main working area okay where we can give the we have these three modes like our presentation is ready so we will be pressing on this button to present so to present our presentation or the animation we will press this button you have seen this and we will go in the presentation mode so to start the presentation we will press this green flag we will show this green flag and our presentation or animation story will start working and if we want to stop it we will press on this red button okay below the stage we have sprite info pan where the sprite is shown in the form of a thumbnail and at the corner at the top left corner we can see this button when we will click this button it will di display the sprite information okay so i'll show you how it works it's very very simple you will like it sprite list so that sprite list all the thumbnails will be there in the sprite list so display the thumbnails of the selected sprite below the stage then the stage icon when we will click on the stage icon it will add the backdrop like you saw that the backdrop uh, the backdrop means the background the background behind the cat was a white plain page so we want to give some garden or a room or a, a road any kind of background we can give and for doing that we need to click this stage icon okay next is tabs mainly there are three tabs script costume and sound script means we want to write the script so it will provide us all the tabs option and blocks option then costume costume we can choose the costume from the costume option and we want to add the sound to our animation so we can go to the sound tab okay last is next is script area script area is the collection of step wise instruction given to a sprite is known as script this is not a script like like what is program a program is a set of instruction in the same way script is also a set of instruction and the script is written in the script area so script area is the place where we pick and drop the blocks to create a script okay and the next is cursors tool so we have these three cursors tools these are the four tools available with us located at the top of the scratch window there are four different tools to perform a different operation like duplicate we want to duplicate our sprite if we want to duplicate our sprite we will press this stamp button we want to delete the sprite we will press on this delete button or cut button like scissors are shown there and grow we want to grow the size if we want to increase the size we will keep pressing this button it will grow the uh, object or the sprite in size and shrink is absolutely opposite to this if we want to decrease the size we will press on this button so students i hope you have understood what is the working now let's see interactively how it works now students you can see this is our scratch interface okay we have studied that these are menus this is our presentation button this is our green flag to start the presentation red button to stop the presentation these are the four cursor tools like if we want to duplicate we want to cut we want to increase the size or we want to decrease the size so these four icons can help us in this functioning and then we studied these three tabs like motion tab looks tab sound tab you see all the tabs are having different color first was having blue this is purple this is dark pink this is green this is orange and uh, then somewhat brownish orange then light yellow then sky blue and then this light green these are the 10 blocks these are the 10 blocks that we will be using to write the script for our sprite So this is our sprite okay it will be moving working running it will be doing everything for us and then we saw this is costume button we we can add more costumes costumes are the objects like we i want to add things 
or this arrow is added I want, I want to increase this size I can increase its size can you see I want to decrease the size I will decrease okay so costume provides us various objects and from here we can once these are the blocks costume and we can choose it we can draw it we can upload and we can even click the, now we want to if we want to add the sound we, we will go to sound tab press the first button and we can add the sound ok the sound is added got it so these are the three tabs with which we will be working now this is our script area so what do we do in the script area we just use this buttons these are the blocks we will be snapping together okay like this we will be working in the script area okay now we have covered this now this is our stage this is our stage and this is our sprite list if we if i'll add more sprites they will appear here i will add more sprite it will appear here so this is this is what this is sprite list all the sprite which i want to add these are the sprites these are the sprite we call them sprite and all these sprites that we will be adding will be there in the sprite list this is our stage and if we want to add the stage backdrop just notice one thing the moment i'll click on the sprite i am clicking on the sprite the options in the tab is script costume and sound the moment i will click on the stage it will change to backdrop means stage what stage will contain stage will have the background like you have seen seen in the annual function of the school you always have a beautiful background in the stage so if we are working with stages what stage will provide us it will provide us backdrop backdrop means backgrounds so we have these backgrounds i can add this okay so you just see we have got a background got it so stage provide us backdrops got it now stage this is our sprite info pan so this is a info pan this is a this complete is a sprite list this will contain the list all these sprites that we have used and this is the button which we will click to get the information like we have x and y coordinate so this is the position rotation which rotation we can add on this okay so it will provide us the information about the sprite got it and uh, what else we have i have just taught you everything about this so this is our again let's quickly recap this is these are the menu presentation mode flag to start the presentation to stop the presentation these are the three tabs to work actually the entire working depends upon these three tabs okay these are the four cursor tools like i want to duplicate i will duplicate this you just saw i just duplicated then cut then i want to cut it increase the size decrease the size got it and these are the three tabs this is the script area i hope now you are quite familiar with the scratch programming and its interface now in the next we will be learning about the motion block that how all motions will work we will see introduction about all the blocks one by one in detail okay students i hope you have liked and uh, understood the information about the scratch programming i would like to tell you that you should go for the practical like i have just told you whatever i have told you today or taught you today you just go through it and do it practically once you will be enjoying as well as you will be learning it i hope you have liked the video so don't forget to press the bell icon and hit the like button and also subscribe the channel thank you so much and god bless you all